Cat. It's Maximus here, this time with a quick review of this uh, just <laughs> bottom of the barrel tool cash brand, uh, one pound. They call this a sledgehammer. Really, this is a just a one pound driving hammer. Hammers are the oldest tool in the world. Arguably, hammers were uh, discovered or invented uh, before humans uh, discovered fire and started cooking their food. So there's a million different names and a million different types of hammers. This is one pound, 16 ounces, just like a, a regular carpenter's hammer. Uh, I've gotten a lot of uh, heat for using this in, in a, all sorts of situations. I shouldn't when I have used hammers on my channel, so I have this one just for general beating. These uh, true places like True Value will have like these really cheap junk tool bins for tools that you're going to just beat stuff with. So this is a driving hammer, fiberglass handle. Uh, it makes it reasonably tough. Uh, it's just fiberglass with uh, an epoxy resin versus like nylon, which would be a more expensive material. And then a glued on uh, softer rubber handle or plastic. This may be vinyl or something like that. Anyway, and then they just epoxy the head on so you can't really replace the handles. It's a real nightmare. You have to drive it out and everything. Um, who knows about how long the head will last. These are just uh, junker hammers when you're going to the junkyard or you're doing demolition work and you really don't want to just, you're just going to beat up and destroy the hammer. That's exactly what these are for and that's what that tool cash brand is. Every once in a while, actually it's only been a couple times on my channel, but people have asked about like IIT and some of these other brands and so I picked one of these up just so I could uh, tell people about it. And really they are good when you just want to, you know, these cheap hammers, especially like these little one pound ones, just uh, for general beating duties. That's why I say demolition and uh, junkyards. Because it's the kind of thing where if you, uh, you know, miss hit and then damage or break the handle, lose it. Or if you're having a hit against things like hardened steel or something like that and you really bad damage up the head, uh, that you're just not too worried about it. And then generally speaking, uh, once again, these one pound hammers can be pretty handy. They allow you to get a lot of swing force, a lot of inertia, and a fairly compact hammer. And no, these wouldn't be considered engineering or striking hammers. That might be something more like uh, in the two and a half pound range, like this S-Wing here. Anyway, what this is good for, I got a screw here. This is going to be kind of funny. I don't even know where my, <laughs> don't know where my nails are. But maybe you're in a situation where you have to drive a screw like a nail. It's not really recommended. Uh, I'm just doing this to see if the, the hammer face really gets just beaten down by the screw. If it, or because they say it's drop forged steel, but they don't say if it's really hardened. And uh, we'll see here. But these hammers really give you a lot of... Whoop, That screw is not particularly strong. So, one, you can drive a screw like a nail. And then two, uh, the, the head is definitely hardened. I can tell you that I can't feel any damage. It's just a little plastic anti-rust uh, coating. There you go. So there's my uh, impression on probably the best tool of uh, with the tool cash brand that the True Value has in their uh, bargain bin. And the one thing I can say is at least when they did epoxy it, we can see right there that they did fully glue all the way through the handle. Uh, a lot of the, it's probably something they've learned because uh, nobody will take them because of the ones that they don't properly epoxy, the heads really do want to come off pretty easily. That was always the problem with the uh, really cheap from uh, you know many years ago, cheap fiberglass handle hammers is the fact that the epoxies they just put a little bit in and the heads would just always come off so anyway just a neat little uh driving uh little one pound uh driving hammer the rest of the, this brand uh, this bargain bin products and tool cash are really i don't think are worth owning at all but for a hammer um uh, it's probably it probably is the only thing and it happens to fill that little niche of a one pound uh, driving hammer um, because it seems all the other nicer brands, it's always they get them in the either the carpenter's hammers or the heavier like engineer's hammer, the other you know, two, three, four pound range or sledgehammers. So I don't know why stores don't have more of these. Anyway, I really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Until next time, Catus Maximus out.